Well, hi everyone. My name is Erin. I support the Developer Grants Program at Filecoin Foundation. I'm really excited to get to huddle with you here in the middle of this consensus floor and talk about really exciting developer grant opportunities as well as other opportunities within the Filecoin ecosystem where you can really make a big impact and we would want to work with you. Um, a couple objectives that I just want to get in front of at the very top here. My key objective is to make sure that you know about our developer grants program, what it takes to apply for the developer grants program, what are our key focus areas and priorities, and how you can be successful in your submission, how you can submit that application uh, and not have outstanding question marks. So any like means that you need to be connecting with our team beforehand, I want you to have those resources up front. Um, and then our second objective would be if you learn about our developer grants program, and decide that your project really isn't the right fit. Maybe that is or isn't the case. Uh, we can talk to you about that. But if you decide this isn't quite the right fit, I would want to make sure that you know about other ways to plug into our ecosystem uh, that, so you can still be engaging with us, creating change, especially the type of change uh, that you're craving within the Filecoin ecosystem. We want to equip you and empower you to be able to do just that. Uh, so without further ado, I'll jump right into our developer grants and what we are funding. We have three main grant types. We have open grants, documentation enhancement grants, and RFPs, requests for proposals. Uh, I'm gonna start right up here at the top, open grants. If you check out our grants program any time of the year, this is our most consistent grant type. So it is very likely any time of the year you can submit your application and we'll be ready to start reviewing it. Um, a theme that exists really for all of our grant types, but I want to really emphasize it with our open grants, uh, is that we are consistently looking for projects that are impacting the usability, functionality, and advancement of the Filecoin network. Um, so if you have a project that's sitting on top of our technology and you're in kind of like that um, building up funding and traction so that you can expand and uh, you know onboard more users, that's awesome, we want to work with you. Maybe there's certain portions that are open source within your project that we can maybe align with within the grants program, but I want to emphasize that the, the vision for our grants program right now is to really look into projects that are supporting technology uh, for everyone that's touching our tech. So not just one specific project goal that's sitting on top of Filecoin technology, but the infrastructure itself. So again, it's uh, projects that are supporting usability, functionality, and advancement for the network as a whole. Uh, open grants generally are going to be capped at 50K, so we'll see the range in general between 5K and 50K. Uh, these are going to be for projects uh, that usually fall within these key areas of interest. Uh, that's developer and data tooling. If you are someone that um, just notices gaps in experience, uh, or usability with um, the developer experience or the tools we have today. We want people that notice those things, are bothered by those things, and want to raise their hand, step up to the plate, and just take a swing at addressing these big experience user gaps. So if that's you, please feel inspired. We want to hear from you. We want to talk to you. Uh, developer and data tooling integrations. Uh, if you are involved with products or communities that are fast growing or popular, uh, and you want to incorporate Filecoin into those fast growing popular communities and products, we want to hear from you because that means that we can spread the word about the possibilities and opportunities that come with Filecoin that much more effectively. Uh, research and protocols. If you have a skill set uh, and a background where you can really dive into that underlying tech, uh, the underlying rules that really make this machine run, uh, if there's something you really want to zoom into, whether it's uh, research or actually tinkering with the protocol, um, we see these left off less often, but they are very interesting, and we would want to hear from you and leverage that very unique knowledge base that you have. Uh, storage and retrieval, I'll keep this short and sweet. We are in the world of decentralized storage. So if you are um, equipped and passionate about finding uh, solutions for storage and retrieval ecosystems, we want to work with you and hear what solutions you have, especially when it comes to like um, like scalable solutions. As we continue to grow, we want those solutions to be scalable. So uh, definitely reach out to us or talk to us today after this chat. Uh, and then FBM, this kind of builds right into the integrations category. If you are building out tools and you want to incorporate FBM, we would want to hear what you're working on and see if there's an opportunity to fund that project. Um, I've spent so much time on open grants. That's because it's our main grant type that's consistently around. It's our most popular grant type. It's 
the larger end of the budget, capping at about 50K. Um, other grant types, documentation enhancement grants. This is a relatively brand new grant type, kicked off last month. Um, if you are someone that's passionate about documentation, whether it's improving documentation that already exists, um, or if you want to build out your own set of tutorials and demos, compre comprehensive user guides, whatever the case may be, if you're passionate about documentation, um, we want to talk to people that are passionate about documentation because it's so important. And is often considered less bright and shiny and often therefore overlooked and can result in outdated information and we don't want that. We want our devs and community members to feel equipped and we'd love to talk to you. I also think it's a really great opportunity to point out um, you don't have to be a dev to apply for any of these grant types. Community members with all kinds of perspectives are really important. I would say, especially within documentation enhancement grants, we want people that are using these tools and using the tech. Um, that perspective is irreplaceable. Uh, but there are very talented individuals that are so good at understanding how people need to read things and consume information and when. Um, and we want to leverage that skill set. So please, please feel very, very inspired and free to apply, even if your background isn't specifically technical. It's just your passion is documentation. Uh, and then RFPs, uh, requests for proposals. These are um, not open year round. We open these up as the need arises, but please be on the lookout. We've had RFPs in the past around green initiatives that turned out some really, really special projects. Um, and whenever we um, launched FBM. So a lot of really, really cool needs that were um, taken care of at the FBM launch. But RFPs are really about us pre-carving out needs that we see. So that way anyone can go in, see what we need done. You can raise your hand and just take a big swing at home plate and, and hack away at some big needs that we've already pre-carved out. So the, the needs and budget um, vary based on what's coming up, but please feel welcome to keep an eye out for those things as those needs arise. Some quick spotlights here um, that are really good examples of the focus areas we talked about not too long ago. Incentivized RPC pool. This is a project being implemented by the Lava team. They are providing an incentivized and decentralized RPC input. So endpoint, sorry. Um, so if you're a dev or a node runner, uh, someone that's using the Filecoin network and um, is using RPC services. That's applicable to them. Great example of uh, developer and data tooling. Unreal Engine, they're incorporating Filecoin functionalities into the blockchain plugin. If you are following Unreal Engine and their reach into um, that ever-expanding group of gaming developers, it's really exciting to see what they're doing and how we can uh, how we can work with them to help them reach their goals. Ghost Drive, this is a private drive on top of Filecoin network that's um, incorporating FEM. Really cool user experience. Highly recommend you check it out. Lighthouse FEM tooling. This is a team that noticed a lot of needs within the developer tooling space when FEM was being launched uh, and took care of it. So it's a great example of seeing needs, wanting to do something about it, putting a project together, and then implementing it. A lot of awesome positive feedback came out of a team noticing uh, gaps and then filling them. And then finally, Transfer Data DAO. This is um, Transfer Archive, a team that's deploying um, a DAO leveraging FEM and in doing so, um, conserving contemporary art. So a really, really beautiful project and a really, really wonderful team. You'll notice these three blank boxes here. And because that is an invitation to you to become one of these boxes, to apply um, and be someone that we can spotlight and work with, have, we can have you come out and speak at events just like this in the future. Um, please feel inspired to apply or to ask questions. Um, really quick overview of the criteria and the timeline. Um, we know that tech moves fast and you're moving fast and we want to work with you, uh, but we also want to be really consistent when it comes to setting expectations and meeting them. Uh, you can submit a lightweight application for really any of these grant types. Um, the month following your application, you would hear from us regarding our feedback. Uh, or results for our initial review. And should you pass on to the final review, uh, you would hear from us within the final month. Our goal is to be as fast as possible, so we're not restricted to that timeline. But you can expect, um, upon submitting your proposal, for it to be maybe 30 to 60 days before you hear from us. Um, but if you are ever in a time crunch or have concerns around that timeline, you're, of course, welcome to reach out to us. We do execute a contract with you. And then upon completing your milestone deliverables, um, 
review them with you, talk about any hurdles, challenges you may be experiencing, um, and then pay you out so that you can have your funding and move on to the next chapter and complete the next steps of uh, a project that we would hopefully have the opportunity to share and showcase in the future. Um, some criteria that's important here, self-management of teams. We want teams that um, are wanting to communicate with us where they need help, uh, but are also sufficient in being able to identify the needs of their project, make a plan, and execute. Um, these should be open source projects. Uh, so if these are, uh, if the code and the work that you're doing is intended to be kind of uh, reserved just for your internal team, this may not be the project for you. If there's certain aspects of your project that are open source, definitely make that known and we can see if there's an opportunity there. Um, QR code is here if you wanted to check out our project repo, start reading more or applying, that's right here. Uh, or you can just talk to me after this little chat because I would love to talk with you and give you information that's specific to your scenario. Uh, so that you don't have to feel overwhelmed with text or QR codes or links. You can just talk to me. We can set you up with office hours or whatever you need to feel successful. Um, this I, has the wrong slide title, but that's okay. <laughs> and what's important for this slide is I want to highlight if you are not in debt grants, if you are not a uh, current or past or upcoming Dev grant winner, or you've learned about our program and you think, ah, that's not quite what we need or what we want right now. Um, we still want to work with you and we still want to hear from you. We have a developer working group that is kicked off this year. We are meeting quarterly and we'll be finding other ways to be engaging with each other, whether it's by calls or uh, through different communication channels. Uh, but I want to emphasize that the developer working group is intended to support devs and community members that are working and supporting devs. Um, that have knowledge and perspective to share. They have challenges that they want to raise, and there's specific areas within development that they want to advocate for uh, that maybe is just getting lost in the noise that is sometimes Web3, where you feel like you're giving consistent feedback and it's going down a black hole, or something consistently feels challenging or confusing and it's unnecessary, or you see an opportunity to build something out and you want to partner with people. We want people to consider the developer um, working group to be a watering hole for those people. So you can come together and advocate for the changes that you need to see fit and really apply like focus and effectiveness around um, the missions and causes within the ecosystem that you find are worthy of being a very high priority, not just to the Filecoin Foundation, to the ecosystem as a whole. Uh, so please reach out. If you're thinking, I have thoughts and ideas and concerns and challenges within the Filecoin ecosystem, Dev Grants doesn't make sense. Um, but you still crave change in certain areas, you're exactly who we want to be talking to uh, so that we can support you and hopefully it can be a, a back and forth. So um, please follow up, stay in touch, and uh, would be happy to provide any specific information regarding any of these topics. Um, thank you so much for the quick huddle and I look forward to connecting with you. Contact us.